So my first attempt was Screencast-O-Matic on the new tablet. Let's see how it works. So this is the first problem from the 11.3 homework problems that we had, and I just chose it because I could really use a nice, simple review of Euler's formula and how it is used before our exam. So for Euler's formula, the best thing to do is to make a lovely little table with our x values, our y values, and our slope. We know that the change in x is 0.1, so we can fill in those values, starting in 0 and going all the way to 0.4, since it says to find it at x equals 0.4. We know that for a, it starts at the point 0, 1, so we know that y starts with 1. And then we can plug those values into our equation for the slope, y equals x plus y, which in this case will be 0 plus 1, to find that the initial slope is 0. Now, to find y for our second value of x in this box, we can do delta y equals m times delta x. So we know that y will equal the slope, which is 1, times a change in x, which is 0.1, which just equals 0.1. But we have to remember that we need to do the previous slope plus the slope that we just found. So our new point is 0.1 comma 1.1. We plug those values into the slope formula. So we have y prime will equal 0.1 plus 1.1, which equals 1.2. So this will be 1.2. Then we do this step again, going delta y equals the slope 1.2 times change in x, which is 0.1 which is 0.12, and then we add that to the previous. So 1.1 plus 0.12, which equals 1.22. Then we plug that into our slope formula and get that y prime equals 1.22 plus 0.2, which equals 1.42. Go back and find y again. y equals the slope, 1.42 times 0.1, which equals 0.142, which we then add to the previous, 1.22 plus 0.142, which equals 0 0.142, 1.362. We then put 0.3 and 1.362 into the slope formula and find that the slope is 1.662. We find y again, y equals slope 1.662 times delta x 0.1, which equals 0.1662. And then we add that to the previous y value, which gives us 1.5282. And there we have our y value for one point when x equals point 0.4.